meant to be in the great outdoors forever free in the last video you saw us walking around Braemar which wasn't what we were expecting at all and we found a cafe where Bernie had a cup of froth rather than coffee but it was a lovely setting it was overlooking the River Dee, even if it was a little disconcerting. Leaving Braemar, we set off again on our journey, in the vain hope, as it turned out, of finding a spot to spend the night. And guess what? Another convoy of sports cars, but these were a little bit more up to date. And to give Bernie a rest after all that driving in that rain yesterday, I thought it would be nice if I did the driving today. Now I'll stay quiet and let you enjoy the scenery because it really was spectacular. Sorry to interrupt, but one thing I was surprised about was just how straight these roads were through these mountains, because usually roads through mountains are all over the shop. So here we are approaching the Glenshee Ski Resort and I thought it's a bit weird, it looks deserted and then I thought, well you daft woman a ski centre's all about winter, it's for skiing so of course it's going to be deserted in the summer This parking area is vast and I've since found out it actually holds 2,000 cars we continued our journey down the valley, looking for a suitable parking spot. I don't know why I kept driving because we were supposed to be looking for a stopover I think I was just carried away by the sheer vastness of this scenery We did at one point turn back and head back up the valley and we pulled into a, a, what we thought was going to be a good park up but we soon discovered that once we got in there we may not be able to get out so I didn't reverse up fully because I thought we were going to get stuck all that rain had really taken its toll. So we eventually ended up here on the road above Pit Lockery. This was to be our last wild park up. Or was it? Blue. Did you sleep well? Hmm? Where's Bernie? Where is he? There he is, look. Yeah. Is it time to 
get up, is it? Yeah. Let's have a look outside. Mm -hmm. Look outside, I think it might be warm because the car's been pinking with the heat. Ooh. Right, Mum. Oh, look at that blue sky. Wow. With what? The clouds. Always the best bit of this, isn't it? <laughs> it's when your zip gets stuck, isn't it, blue? Good morning, world. I think it's going to be sunshine and showers all day by the looks of it. Oh, it was a lovely park up, wasn't it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Same me getting decapitated. Yeah, um, and seeing those deer. Oh, amazing. I'll just... I'll just stare him back at it. Yeah. You move before I move. It was kind of a game of chicken, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, pit lockery, here we come. Be nice if it stopped raining so I could have a look around without it. Um... Right, which way do you want me to watch? It's clear that way, as far yeah, as I can see. If you look down, and if there's no cars whatsoever, there's nothing. Right, it means that obviously you can pull out. You can pull out, but it means we can take it steady. It's not so Sunshine. So this was the last of the real high country, and we both felt a little sad because we thought once we got to Pit Lockery, we'd be back in civilization really. And we just so much enjoyed it up there, the solitude of it all.
this is not dissimilar. At the end of the street, turn left. It's not dissimilar to Keswick. Oh. When you, you know, when you're coming down the hill into Keswick. Oh, yeah. been to many places in Scotland over our last few tours and the one thing I do have is a memory for car parks. Yeah, it's down here on your left. Now Blue was running short on food again so I popped into that shop on the right there to see if they had any. Because he's super allergic it's really difficult to find something that he can actually eat. Oh it's all burns. We carried on walking up the high street and boy it was such a culture shock from being up there on the moors on the road just the deer to all this noise. Now not everybody likes bagpipes but this is the noise that we can get along with. to see such a young lad giving it a go and honestly he was there for a good hour he must have been well out of puff I wonder if it does sound like a bag of screaming cats to our blue Pitlock is a bustling little town and it was very popular during the Victorian era and especially more since Queen Victoria came to visit with Albert while staying at Balmoral. Now correct me if I'm wrong but this was May when we visited Pitlockery. I wonder if this Christmas shop is open all year round it was certainly the only snow we'd seen, even up at the ski centre. Perhaps I should bob in. I might be able to actually pick something up for Christmas. And I'm not sure where I'll hide it in the van. I think when we first arrived there must have been a coach party in because it certainly quietened down a lot by the time we'd reached the top of the main street. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us on this part of our journey. And if you have, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit like and subscribe, because it will help our channel grow. And please stick with us as we journey down past Loch Tay, revisit the beautiful falls at Killin, and find out why our blue is just too shattered to even get off the Got bench.